Welcome to my YouTube channel. The USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78 in 2025 stands as the most powerful and technologically advanced aircraft carrier ever constructed by the United States Navy. As the lead ship of the Ford class carriers, it represents a complete redesign from the earlier Nimitz class, offering transformative upgrades in propulsion, flight operations, radar systems, and crew efficiency. Named in honor of the 38th President of the United States, this vessel is not just a symbol of naval supremacy but also a cornerstone of future maritime strategy. Its presence on the seas reflects the United States' ongoing commitment to global security, freedom of navigation, and military readiness. At the core of the USS Gerald R. Ford is its twin A1B nuclear reactors, which generate nearly three times more electricity than the A4W reactors used in previous Nimitz-class carriers. This immense power capacity is not only used for propulsion but also to support next-generation weapons and sensors, including electromagnetic systems and potentially directed energy weapons. With these reactors, the carrier can operate at speeds exceeding 30 knots and maintain deployment for over 20 years without needing to refuel, granting it unprecedented operational endurance and global reach. One of the most groundbreaking systems on the USS Gerald R. Ford is the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, EMALS. This system replaces traditional steam catapults with electromagnetic technology to launch aircraft more smoothly, efficiently, and with less wear on airframes. EMALS can accommodate a wider variety of aircraft, including future unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and allows for faster relaunch times. Alongside this is the Advanced Arresting Gear AUG, an upgraded aircraft recovery system that uses energy-absorbing technologies to safely recover aircraft with a wider range of weights and speeds, enhancing the flexibility and safety of flight operations. The carrier's flight deck has been redesigned to support higher sortie generation rates, up to 25% more than Nimitz-class carriers. A more compact and relocated island structure provides greater deck space, while an improved aircraft handling system ensures faster movement between the hangar bay, weapons magazines, and launch points. The USS Gerald R. Ford is equipped with four advanced weapons elevators capable of lifting 24,000 pounds at once, which are operated magnetically and allow for faster and more reliable delivery of munitions to the flight deck, thus increasing combat effectiveness. Automation plays a crucial role throughout the ship, reducing the required crew by nearly 700 compared to the Nimitz class. These savings not only reduce long-term operational costs but also improve quality of life on board. The ship features upgraded berthing areas, dining facilities, and recreational spaces designed with sailor well-being in mind. The ship's internal systems, from power distribution to maintenance diagnostics, are controlled by advanced computer systems that allow for streamlined operations and rapid problem solving, minimizing downtime and human error. The USS Gerald R. Ford is equipped with the Dual Band Radar, DBR, an integrated system that combines S-band and X-band radar functionalities into one unit. This allows the ship to perform simultaneous air traffic control, missile tracking, and horizon surveillance with high accuracy and low latency. The DBR supports both offensive and defensive missions, making it a key component in protecting the carrier and directing its combat air wing. Additionally, the ship's self-defense system, SSDS, integrates radar data with countermeasures to detect and neutralize incoming threats, including cruise missiles, drones, and enemy aircraft. The ship's offensive strength comes from its embarked air wing, typically comprising more than 70 aircraft. These include FA-18E F Super Hornets, EA-18G Growlers, E-2D Hawkeyes, MH-60RS Helicopters, and increasingly, F-35C Lightning II Stealth Fighters. The integration of the F-35C brings fifth-generation stealth and sensor fusion capabilities, allowing the USS Gerald R. Ford to engage in high-threat environments and conduct precision strikes. Its design is also forward-compatible with future UAVs and unmanned combat aircraft, providing long-term flexibility as technology evolves. In terms of close-in protection, the carrier is armed with a suite of advanced weapons, including rolling airframe missiles RAM, evolved Sea Sparrow missiles ESSM, and Phalanx Close-in Weapon Systems CIWS. These systems form a layered defense shield that can intercept fast-moving threats at various ranges. The ship is also equipped with electronic warfare and cybersecurity measures to protect its sensitive networks and maintain full-spectrum operational readiness in contested environments. Medical capabilities on board are equivalent to a modern hospital, featuring surgical suites, dental clinics, laboratories, and intensive care facilities. 
This allows the carrier to support large-scale combat operations and humanitarian missions alike. Logistics and support systems ensure that the ship can sustain long deployments, with storage for vast quantities of food, fuel, and supplies. Communication systems on board are encrypted and satellite-linked, enabling real-time coordination with other elements of the carrier strike group, allied forces, and command structures back in the United States. By 2025, the USS Gerald R. Ford has proven its role as a transformational asset in U.S. naval power. Its operational capabilities have matured through extensive trials, deployments, and integration with other fleet components. It acts not only as a mobile airbase but also as a central node in a network of global maritime dominance. Whether conducting combat operations, supporting allies, deterring adversaries, or providing disaster relief, the USS Gerald R. Ford stands at the forefront of 21st century naval warfare. It is a symbol of strength, innovation, and resilience, and it ensures that the United States maintains decisive maritime superiority for decades to thanks for watching.